for coming out. It's now 6 o'clock, September 4th, time for regular scheduled board meeting. The night I've asked Commissioner Richardson to open us with the invocation and the pledge. As you bow, as we pray. Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for all that you do for us. Thank you for safety. Thank you, Lord, for uh, allowing us to be here tonight take care of the business of the community and business of the county. We ask you, Lord, for your guidance. We ask you for your wisdom as we make these decisions that we may uh, represent our people well, Lord, that we may represent you and, uh, and all that we do and say. We ask you, Lord, to be with our, our uh, men and women in blue, Lord, those in, who are serving overseas, those who are serving here at home in military, Lord, all who put their lives on, lives on the line for the sake of others. We just pray, God, that you would keep them safe this week and especially tonight. Lord, for those who are uh, in, the, um, in the path of the storm, we do ask that you would protect them, Lord, protect those who will be helping out as they uh, go in, especially the linemen, go in and restore power and keep them safe. For all this, Lord, we, we thank and praise you for what you'll do when we ask it in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, first item on the agenda is approval of minutes, August 21st, 2018, regular scheduled board meeting, and August 29th, 2018, emergency meeting. Any changes or corrections? Move to approve. Second. Got a motion to approve by Commissioner Richardson. Second. By Commissioner Sessions. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Uh, moving on to the consent agenda, we have two through... 14, 11, and 12 have been asked to be pulled for discussion. Any others? Hearing none, I need a motion to approve 2 through 10, 13, and 14. Motion approved. Got a motion to approve by Commissioner Fleming, second by Commissioner Richardson. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. All right. Number 11 is authoriz <clears throat> authorization to apply for Department of Environmental Protection Florida Grant Development Assistant Program. Um, Mr. S Commissioner Sessions asked for this to be pulled. The reason I asked to pull it, to talk about it, um, there's not any real s specifics here. Is this just a, is there any amounts on this grant or um, any, any specifications to the grant or any limitations? I'm just not. Mr. Scott, who, who different, to plan on doing two different grants, two fifty thousand dollars grants. We don't have to match those grants. Uh, the two projects we have in mind are the Lurville Park uh, that we did the land swap for uh, back months ago, okay. and that will be the phase two of the Douglas Center. That's in number eleven or, or eleven. That's and that's that's eleven. That's for eleven. Right. Okay, Douglas. Phase two. Okay, and then the number 12. Well, let's take um, action on number 11. Anyone else have any questions on 11? Uh, yes. Um, what uh, what does phase two represent in Douglas Center again? Well, we plan on doing bulb fill improvements. Yeah. And that sort of thing kind of depends on whenever y'all decide what y'all are going to do. But uh, we'll go ahead and write the grant for bulb fill improvements um, first. Okay, so... That's what phase two encompasses. Phase one is the uh, expansion of the, the building of the, uh, the playground. The playground, okay. Right. Also, some ball, ball improvements, also, but I'm sure we'll be doing some of both. Probably add some more playground features, also. Any other questions? Uh, move to approve. I'm good and second it. We've got a motion to approve by Commissioner Richardson, second by Commissioner Sessions. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. All right, 12 is authorization authorization to apply for Department of Agriculture Consumer Research Services Agricultural Grant. Uh, Greg's or Mr. Sessions again asked for this to be pulled, but. Basically, what we look, look to be doing there is say uh, for the Coliseum facility. Extend it. Extend. We've got, remember, we did the, cur the current grant. We asked for permission to go out to bid. We don't expect to be able to do this all what we want to do. We, when we wrote the grant originally, it was like for two hundred and something thousand dollars to, to expand both ends of the arena. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing we'd want to do is the arena. Once the bids come back in, 
we might could shift that money to the hog barns and some other areas. The, but to the arena is the first yeah. priority. Okay, I'm I'm fine with that. Yeah, what we uh, we wrote it for what two hundred thousand got approved eighty eighty nine up eighty nine. Okay. Any other questions on the ag culture consumer services grant? Hope we no. get it. Make a motion to approve. <coughs> got a motion Second to approve that. by Commissioner <coughs> Sessions. Was that you, Mr. Hale? Yes, sir. Second by Commissioner Hale. Any further discussion? Hear none. All in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you. Thanks, sir. All right, it's now 6.05. We have a time specific. At 6.05 or soon thereafter, as a matter can be heard, discuss the possible board action preliminary plat for Harvey Estates subdivision. Uh, Ron Meeks, zoning director. Mr. Chairman, uh, board members, um, this is another preliminary plat approval that we have before the board for your, uh, your approval. Uh, the name of the subdivision is Harley Estates. Uh, the property is located in an agricultural one zoning district. Uh, the property is located in section 17, township 2 south, range 14 east. It's at the intersection of County Road 136 and 89th Road. Total size of the subdivision is 20.11 acres in size. Contains a total of four lots. Those sizes of those lots are five acres plus in size. They're like 5.02, 5.03 uh, acres in size. Um, final plat approval will come back before this board in approximately 30 days once the title opinion work is done. Um, and then we will have the plat prepared for signatures at that time. Um, tonight we would just be asking for preliminary plat approval so that we can proceed with the next step in the process. If you have any questions, I'll answer them. Any questions? No. Any questions on this end? Uh, I just have one question, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. On this, on these plats, you say you already got four. That's a, how many are you planning on put, having put in it? It's still four? Of the lots? Four lots there, so you would anticipate having four single family residential structures placed in one per lot. No, no plans to have any additional ones put on that? Well, I mean, there's uh, the density in the in the area is one dwelling unit per five acres, so they have one primary dwelling per lot. There's some additional requirements that allow temporary use permits uh, for family members and things like that. So sometimes you do have uh, mobile homes placed on the property for family members in situations like that. Okay. Any other questions? That's it. No, I have a motion to approve preliminary plat. Motion to approve. Second. Got a motion to approve by Commissioner Sessions, second by Commissioner Fleming. Any further discussion? Hear none. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Thank you. <clears throat> Thanks, sir. All right. Mr. Scott, you make your way back up here. We'll start over. Staff reports. We've got Greg Scott, Parks and Rec, Airport Manager. Thank you, sir. Appreciate being back, back up here again. Um, just give you a few updates on what we've got going uh, regarding the airport. Um, we'll be bringing an agenda item probably the next commission meeting uh, to let you all approve the increase in the hangar rent, 3%. Uh, we've not increased the rent since I've taken over the airport. We've made quite a few improvements since then. It customarily you increase every year or so uh, rent at, at uh, the airport, so it's more self-sufficient. And um, so we'll be bringing that to you at the next commission meeting. Um, we are also working on a, a project to, um, we've got some obstructions, uh, instrument approach obstructions, tree line, both on the seven end of the runway and also the 24 end of the runway, 25. Um, anyway, it's um, some trees and uh, been working with landowners to try to get uh, that resolved. So that's an ongoing process. So. Uh, be making some improvements there shortly, we think. Uh, on the parks, uh, we're still waiting on notification from the voter improvement grant that we received from Game and Fish. Uh, we received that a couple years ago at this one at Peacock Lake. Um, the, um, there's some federal dollars tied to that grant, apparently, and we cannot get a straight answer from FWC when they'll release. We haven't even received a contract yet to, uh, to assign yet. so. Hopefully we'll get that done while the water's low. Uh, if not, it'll probably be approved whenever the, river, the water gets high, so it would be a you know, different process. But um, anyway, 
uh, making some improvements there, we hope. Um, the, um, we tried to also set up a meeting. Um, I know that uh, Commissioner Richardson's been anxious and, and we're trying to get a meeting set with FDOT. We met with water management, uh, I guess, two months ago now, uh, looking at the uh, project down in, in Brantford. Just to give you an overview. The idea what what has been proposed is to uh, do a river walk along the river, along the trail, uh, the greenway there in, in Brantford, uh, the um, trailhead, and so when people can actually see the river and be a focal point and a, a way to get people there. It's more of a destination, uh, but. Um, Part of the idea also is to take the tr the, um, the walkway, the river walk, under the bridge there on 27 to kind of and then tie it into the, the spring. So we're still trying to get a meeting set with DOT. We hope to get that done, set up this week. Um, the um, uh, regarding football, we've got uh, a few more kids signed up from football this year than in the past. We've got eight teams total playing. And uh, it's a nice little uptick in, in the numbers on that. But um, anyway, any questions that you've got, I'd be glad to try to answer those for you. When, you, when we talk about a river walk, are we talking about like a, a dirt trail like, a, like the Florida Trail is, or what are you, what are you envisioning? What, what we'd like to do is, is create a, a paved, whether it be pavers or concrete. There's probably be some features that go out over to look out over the river. Uh, Depends on how we word those and what water management will approve. Um, I'm sure the Corps of Engineers will be involved with that. This, it's going to be a, a process to, to make it happen. But it, um, if you've gone to, you know, not a good comparison to San Antonio or Augusta, a place like that that's got river walks and that kind of stuff, it's just a nice amenity that to, 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 you know, draw people in and look and visit. It's, you know, except for Ivy Park, it's hard to you know, really get a feel for what the river looks like. There's some great views on that upriver side of the bridge. Um, but um, again, this is going to be a, uh, I know the commissioner doesn't want to hear this, but this is a pro it will be a process to make this happen. Um, but uh, we hope to get some, some designs and stuff, at least generic designs done so we can get an idea what. I'll be long dead and gone before it gets finished. And me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I was going to ask you. What you thought the time frame on this would be? Well, um, we can fund it. We can go ahead and start, get started on it right now. <laughs> I think the the first the first thing we do is is write a uh, Florida Communities Trust grant to try to purchase the property and use your match money. You know, the money I've set aside is match. Um, uh, you know, a project like that would it, you're looking at five to ten years to get it done. Um, if you if all the money comes like you would like for it to, um, I've heard friends of mine in different places. When you start looking at Corps of Engineers and Water Management Districts and other regulatory agencies on on permitting, permitting alone sometimes takes years. So, uh, the th I did meet with um, some DOT folks um, at last week. I'm sorry, not DOT, um, DEP folks last week, and they were very encouraged. That we we're doing the laying the groundwork first with DOT and uh, water management and those folks before we start looking at grants and that sort of thing. So we're trying to know what to ask for before we ask for it, exactly. so, right. if that makes any sense. No, I just, I, I know we had set some money aside in the budget, but I think you were out some, during that little portion right. of it, and right. I was just wondering how long we were looking at before we had to possibly budget for it or if we needed to budget for right. it now. Well, that we were hoping well, frankly, we're hoping to get some meetings set up earlier with some of the regulatory agencies, and um, we can't get, I'm going to make some calls this week to get it set up, but I was waiting on the engineer to do some things. But anyway, um, FCT grant deadlines is in the, in the fall. Um, it's a, quite an ordeal, a long process. When another um, grant writer, or not, I'm sorry, not a grant writer, another engineering was involved. We had talked about you know them writing the, the FCT grant for us, um, and since then he's not with them anymore. The, the firm, another another engineers on board now, so we hope they can still do that for us. So. All right. Any other questions? Thank Thanks, you. sir. Yes, sir.
Moving on, item 17, general business, also possible board action, contract for auditing and accounting services. Richard Powell and Randy Harris presenting. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. You can have mine when he's done. Gave me two. Passing out there. Yeah. Uh, 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 our office, Hal and Joan, very much appreciates the many years we have served as auditors for Swanee County and hope to continue serving the county for many years in the future. Our current contract with the county provides that the annual audit and fee is renewed on a year-by-year -year basis for an additional three-year period uh, with the prior fee adjusted by the change in CPI. There's also a provision where the fee may be additionally adjusted when the county begins significant new activities, creating a need for significant additional auditing services if such activities or of a recurring nature, the applicable additional fee is added to the base audit fee. Uh, during the past several years, Swanee County activities have significantly increased uh, well beyond the applicable uh, CPI increases. For example, total county expenditures increased 33 percent from 2010 to 2017, by the, while the total CPI increase was only 9.4 percent. Uh, I characterize this as a Randy Harris factor. Uh, <laughs> this has caused the audit fee to be significantly less than the work required to complete the audits. Uh, we, of course, have always fully completed the audits to the best of our ability. I'm requesting that the board adjust our fee by $13,460 for a total fixed fee of $66,595. This will bring, and I have a calculation, the fee to the equivalent paid by the county in 2010. I propose that the fee remain fixed for three years and then be revisited uh, for the subsequent three years. The county would, of course, continue to have the option to terminate the audit contract annually with required notice, as shown on the attached comparison, which uh, at the top of it, uh, with audit fees in similar counties, this will still provide Swanee County with an equivalent audit fee much lower than surrounding counties. Thank you for your uh, consideration of this fee adjustment. Any questions? Any questions from the board? Mr. Harris? I don't have any questions. I just want to say that, uh, you know, that 33% increase is in large part due to the, our aggressive attempts to obtain these grants that we've all spoken about for the last several years. Um, you know, we talk about the grants. We talk about the engineering services and contracts and construction. We never talk about the associated expense with the auditing of all of those expenditures and grants and records. Um, but Mr. Powell does more than that for us. He actually has always been available when we're talking about other financial issues and we need consulting. Um, Mr. Powell has always participated in that, uh, took the time to evaluate our needs and come back and meet with us, talk to us on the telephone, always been available when we had a need that helped us to move forward. And I think he's done a splendid job for us. Um, my request would certainly be that we continue with his services and consider this a, a very modest increase for the significant increase that uh, he's seen in the workload that he's been pushing his way. 
Any board members' comments or questions? I don't have any. Mm -hmm. Do we have a motion to renew the agreement and included the increased fee? I might, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Um, just briefly, instead of renewing this agreement, so we're, because we're starting with a new base, basically, can we just redo this one or just redo the agreement beginning here and and moving Move forward? forward? Because I, yeah, if somebody looks back on this and doesn't see that we started with a new base, could be a problem, not in the next three years, but, <laughs> you know, somewhere down the road, so. I'm fine with that. I make a motion, motion we approve a new agreement that uh, lasts for the next three years and, and accept this offer. Got a motion by Commissioner Sessions, so I have a second. I just have one question. Yes, sir. How often have we revisited this? I know you got three years in here. When is it normally? Has it been four years, five years, yearly? It's been on just a year to year. The contract says that it's it it, it is self renews if there isn't an action by the county to, to do it. And again, it's, it's an older agreement, but uh, but it's worked for I guess right. the county. So it's a passive the renewal. That makes it a passive renewal. Pretty much, that's the effect. Yeah. So, uh, are you are you um, re are, are you suggesting then that we go to a three year contract with a year to year again passive renewal on it, or uh, an, should we be looking at it every year? Obviously, we got to pull this. If you're talking about a three year agreement, how are we going to? Is that I, something I, we can I, do? The current contract says it is either renewed annually or it can't at the board's option it can be renewed for three years uh, mm -hmm. with, with the CPI adjustment okay. uh, so and, and I'm just suggesting or uh, re suggesting that it be renewed for three years without a CPI adjustment in those three years okay. and at the end of three years we look at it and see what uh, you know and and uh, you, 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 uh, the board knows I haven't ever been up here before asking for something like this and because I don't like I'm not going to say well in a year you, expenditures increase four percent the CPI was two percent I want mm -hmm. you know I just uh, uh, all it is we'd like to reset the base so that it's in line with the amount of work we do so, uh, but I'd you uh, I'd equally be happy to say just still have the year to year uh, I'm Council, you have a, uh, you don't have a problem with any kind of a legal issues or anything like that with no, sir, formulating the three, it? The three years mm -hmm. that I set this, and then you all need to say whether it's the CPI added or at the end of the three years, we revisit the whole thing again. Um, I don't mind having a, uh, considering how much you charge us based upon um, our expenditures and everything. We're pretty much lower than everyone else around us. Um, I don't have a problem having a price guarantee at three years. Uh, yeah. I think it's a great idea. And that's um, why I asked the question. I, was, I just want to understand it, that's all. Yep. So um, based upon that, one of us can second it. Yep. I'll second it. Good. Okay. <laughs> I got a second by Commissioner Hale. So what were you saying? That it, they need to include Do that? Do we need to include that? That... Um, I, I mean, I am, well, in, I understood it was a three-year deal. I mean, that's the way yeah. I... And in my motion, I said three years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, got a motion by Commissioner Sessions, second by Commissioner Hale. So approved for three years with the increase. Any further discussion or comments? Hear none. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Our office, and I especially appreciate Thanks, sir. Uh, 18, discuss with possible board action any items associated with the water or the wastewater plant at I-75 and 136. Uh, let me just briefly comment. I, I just want to say that uh, while I don't have a big report for you on that, my hope is that, and I've spoken to Mr. Bailey about it, that we can be up and running with utilities over here by middle of next year. Um, I 
told him if he skipped hunting season this year that he might be able to make that happen. Um, he tells me he takes his laptop to his blind with him, um, <laughs> so he can probably take care of both. In any event, we're hoping to get the engineering design work all wrapped up soon, get it out to bid. You know, we've got quite a process for bidding out, and that adds to the timeline. But my hope is by sometime middle of next year, those utilities will be up and running. Good deal. <clears throat> Any questions for Mr. Harris on the utilities? Yes. All right, we have <clears throat> one additional agenda item. It's task order with uh, driving associates for consulting engineering services associated with the transfer station five-year permit renewal. Mr. Harris. This is a business item that we budget for, like so many other things out at the landfill. Mr. Drabi has been our consultant for those services for years. Um, and his contract and services were in place before I get got here. But the reason this is coming to the board is I think that we need to have each of these exercises and services uh, utilized by task order like we do the other engineers. So that's the reason it's coming to the board now. This is a budgeted item. It was in the budget uh, each year. Um, he has a copy of those items that are coming from DEP throughout the year <coughs> sends us a list so that we can <coughs> get it into the budget ahead of time. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Any questions on this side? I don't, I don't have any. Mm -hmm. I have a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Got a motion to approve by Commissioner Fleming. Do I have a second? A second. Second by Commissioner Hill. Any discussion? Hear none. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. This time we'll open the floor to public comments and concerns. If you would uh, make a name to the podium, state your name now just for the record. I heard you found your phone. I did. I saw you called. <laughs> no. uh, Jimmy Norris, uh, Executive Director, Swanee County Chamber of Commerce, 18152 136th Street. Uh, just real quick, I think uh, we've got these passed out. Just wanted to be sure because we do mail out these uh, invitations to everyone and all of our members. But with some of our emphasis that we've been trying to do on the south end of the county and get more involvement down there, um, we're having our next mix and mingle down there, which is kind of our new business after hours program that we put in place. Uh, many of you attended the, the program that we did at Lafayette um, about two months back, and that is this is the next version of that. But it will be on the south end. We really need your help down there. Um, I know Commissioner Richardson, we've been trying to get down there and uh, we, some of you guys that have contacts that maybe we don't, uh, that's important that we reach out to those people and let them know. It's going to be a great time of networking, just like we did at Lafayette. Uh, there, were, uh, there were several kind of uh, connections made that night that uh, we heard about afterwards. And that, that's the purpose of these, too, to get the word out, to help promote the business itself. But we all need to work together. So uh, just wanted to personally be sure that you got one of these. We did mail them out, but brought them and handled them out tonight. The next thing which will be October the 1st, is our Business of the Year dinner. Again, I know uh, many of you participate in that. I want to see you all there, especially since the sponsor of it is the uh, 20 County Economic Development Office. Uh, River Oak's always been a partner for us on that event, so they're listed there also at the bottom, but the uh, Economic Development Office. Uh, Dr. Jackson said if uh, you're not in favor of that, since technically it's not been funded yet, you can fire him. Um, <laughs> He, he's quite all right with that. So, uh, but uh, we had to go ahead and get this out on on the uh, flyer and the leaflet. Uh, obviously, if we waited till October first, wouldn't wouldn't do uh, do us a lot of good. So, just want you guys to be sure to put it on your calendar and uh, come on out this year. You know, last year we had over 150 attendees. This year, instead of just small and large, we have went back and looked at a more accurate representation of how our membership breaks down. Um, in the past, the cutoff was kind of 50 as far as an employee count, and that's not a real accurate representation because we have the majority of our businesses are 10 and under. So this year we have a small, medium, and large business that we'll be awarding, as well as a nonprofit. 
Uh, believe it or not, there is uh, many, many nonprofits doing a lot of work in this community, and uh, sometimes they don't get recognized. So we're going to be recognized the uh, nonprofit of the year also. So if you guys would put it on your calendar and uh, share it with your friends. And other than that, that's kind of all I have. Well, I appreciate it. Chairman, yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Anyone else? Well, ain't none. Mr. Harris, you got anything for administrator comments? No, Board members, requests and comments? Mr. Hill? I don't have anything. Sessions? Nothing right now. Mr. Richardson? I just want to say I appreciate, uh, appreciate Mr. Harris being at, uh, and Debbie being at the um, uh, town hall meeting in Branford. We didn't have very many show up, but uh, I think the information provided is helpful. Always helpful when you have explanations about what's going on um, so that people, when they start hearing rumors, they don't get the wrong idea because they don't have all the information. So thank you, Mr. Harris. Appreciate it. Mr. Fleming? I don't have anything. I just want to, uh, I mentioned to the chief earlier that if, if anybody watched TV 20 News, I saw Swanee County Fire Rescue on there last night and this morning. Um, I think it was uh, the paramedic was Snyder and Croft. They were on 129. They was talking about during Labor Day, what do paramedics do? Uh, what first responders in their job, their role in their job? And I think it was like TV20 was here like six hours uh, Monday. And uh, it was a real nice little segment that they had in there. And, and, it, and when they mentioned Swanee County, you know, I, I, I am going to look. And so I had the opportunity to see that last night on TV 20 News and this morning when I got home from work. So I say to the, to the chief, uh, a job well done for your employees, what they do for Swanee County first responders. Thanks, sir. I just got one question, Mr. Harris. Um, do you know we approved the ad for Dr. Jackson's? Uh, vacancy. Do you know when that's going to hit? I've had a lot of phone calls. I don't know when the job description is going to be ready. And I don't know how long it takes for it to get in the paper, but it's going into all those other, it should be, Paul is working on with all those seven or eight different outlets on getting it in there online. Okay. And it'll probably make it there first. Okay. Uh, I was just wondering if they want to know where they can get an application and where they can get a job description or when. They can pick it up at our office. Or is it available now? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, the only other thing I got is um, I've had several phone calls off of 100 or not 100, uh, 96th Street, out close to Orange Baptist Church. There are several log trucks close to one resident parking in the ditch, and I know they got to have a place to park, but um, it's creating a hazard there. And I've had several phone calls. I told them I'd bring it up tonight at the meeting, just to make you aware of it, Mr. Provide aware of it. That, um, I don't know how y'all want to handle it or how we need to address it, but it's close to the intersection of um, it's about 217, 209, I think. It's, if you go past Orange Baptist Church, it's uh, before, right before the next intersection, off of 96. Same thing on Dry Prairie Road. Do what? Dry Prairie Road. Same thing on there. I've, sir? I know that's... Okay. Thanks, sir. I just it, it had posed some safety concerns to several of the residents out there, and I told them I'd bring it up tonight. Uh, only other thing, welcome. Um, not up here yet, but we'll be in November. Congratulations uh, on your election to District 4. We look forward to working with you, I think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that being said, I don't have anything else unless y'all do. Just need a motion to adjourn. Motion. Motion to adjourn. Good deal. Thank y'all. Yep. Yeah. Commissioner elect. <laughs>